Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another cleaning video for you guys. So I'm just basically going to be tackling the main living areas. Some of the rooms, like the living room, weren't too bad. They just needed tidying up. And then other rooms, like the kitchen, were just so, so bad. I also do a little bit of deep cleaning where I'm going to be deep cleaning all of the floors. And I just cannot wait for you guys to see it. I hope that this video can be motivating for you and make you want to get up and get it done. Or at least make you feel a little bit better about your messy house. So let's just get on into it. Now in my last video, which was actually a like spend the day with me vlog style video, but I actually ended up just cleaning in most of it. I did clean all of my couch cushions, but it wasn't done before the video ended. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. As you can see, the couch cushions cleaned so well. Every time I wash them, I feel like the whole couch looks brand new. So highly recommend if you guys are ever wanting a slip covered couch, this is the Ikea Ektorp and we love it. And my garland might look a little bit different to you guys if you watched my decorating for Christmas videos. Originally it was a flocked garland from Target and I ended up switching it out with this garland that I had from last year. I wasn't a fan of the color of the flocked garland from Target after it had been up for a few days because it didn't match the flocked Christmas tree. It was more of like a blue green flocking as opposed to a green. So that's why I switched it out and I actually like the green one better. I feel like it's more classic. Now today's video is actually sponsored by Hoover and I could not wait to get my hands on this. So they actually sent me the Hoover Power Dash hard floor cleaner to try and test out for you guys and I was so excited. I have been wanting something like this for months and I could just not wait to get it put together and get my hands on it. And it was actually super easy to assemble. All you have to do is attach the little handle and then fill it with water and solution. But what this does is it actually sprays the water and solution onto your floor and then it brushes it in 
to loosen up like any tough messes and then it actually squeegees and suctions to lift any dirty water and it's safe on any sealed floors so hardwood laminate vinyl tile and as you can see all i did was fill that little water area with water up to the max line and then i filled the cap with solution and that was it then you just kind of pop it in and start using it and i was so excited to try this and it went above and beyond my expectations i am so happy with it amazing oh my gosh wow okay this thing is so cool let me show you so basically it's I thought it would be a lot more complicated all you do is you do the release thing and then you power it on with that button and then when you push forward you hold down this lever while you're pushing forward and it will wash your floors and then when you pull back you let go of the lever and it dries them and like, look at all of this. So all of this is so clean and it's completely dry because it just sucked it back up when I went backwards. So as you can see, this is the clean water and then look at the other side. This is like the dirty water that it sucked back up. How cool is this? Now I just wanna do my whole house. So, okay, I'm gonna keep going. So I felt like this clip really showed how it kind of shoots out the water and then the solution and then when you pull it back it squeegees and suctions up all of that dirty water and you can kind of see the dirty water in that little reservoir area. Uh, I could not believe how dirty it was because I mop pretty regularly so I couldn't believe how nasty the water was that was coming up. So I will go ahead and have this linked down below in my description box if you guys are interested. I feel like this would make the perfect Christmas present or something to ask for for Christmas. As you can tell, I was super pleased with how it worked. Okay, so all I've done is this area and this area so far and look at how nasty the water is. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I love this thing, seriously, oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. So this is the clean water tank, and then, oh, that's just so gross. And honestly, this is just like the living room area. I'm excited to see how it looks after I do like by the garage door and the front door and in the kitchen because, ugh. So now it's time for the most embarrassing area, which is my kitchen. It was just looking so, so bad. I will say I am very bad at cleaning as I go while cooking. I absolutely love to cook, but my kitchen could be spotless. And then if I'm done cooking a meal, it will just be trashed. I've never figured out how to do both at the same time. And on this day, it was looking extra, extra bad because my husband is a manager at a warehouse, so Cyber Week in our family is always insane. He has to work Thanksgiving and every day afterwards, and so things always kind of tend to run behind this week just because I start to feel burnt out. I know he's burnt out when he gets home, so we're kind of just powering through. But on this day, it was really stressing me out, and I knew I just needed to tackle it and get it done, and I'm so glad I did. So here is your sign if there is an area of your home that you are putting off if there are dishes in the sink right now, if your kitchen counters are dirty, get up right now and clean them. While you're watching this video, you will feel so much better afterwards. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.
So speaking of Black Friday, did any of you guys get any really good deals on Cyber Monday or Black Friday? I actually got most of my Christmas shopping done, so I didn't really get anything for myself, but I was really proud of myself because usually I am a super last minute person and I always end up doing it like the week before Christmas, but I got so many good deals and I checked off almost everyone on my list, so I'm feeling really good about that. By the way, I wanted to mention if anyone is wondering where my sweatshirt is from, I think it is so cute. It says boy mama and it's just so comfortable. I've been wearing it almost every day because it's so soft and cozy on the inside. And for reference, I'm wearing a size large because I wanted it to fit the bump. Um, but I got it from a small Etsy shop so I will have them linked down below as well as their Instagram because I'm loving this sweater and I just feel like it's so comfy and this would be another great Christmas idea. So this part was a little bit difficult. While I was in the middle of doing the dishes, I realized that I had thrown out our last sponge because it was just looking like I needed to use a new one. And we didn't have any sponges left, so I was having some difficulty with getting the dishes clean, and I wanted to fill up the dishwasher and then wash any remaining dishes by hand. And as you can see on the other side of the sink, I tried using like a rag, and that wasn't working, and it just, nothing ended up working. I really needed a sponge to kind of get some hard stuff off some of the pans. So I didn't end up leaving some things in the sink to soak while I went and got a Target pickup order for my sponge. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Okay, so it is the next day, just this one clip. So you'll notice that my outfit's different, but I wanted to use the Hoover Power Dash hard floor cleaner in here. I wanted to just see how bad it was because the kitchen is like the first room you walk into when you walk into the house. My husband comes in here um, like with his dirty shoes on right after work. I hate it, I'm always like, take your shoes off, but it always happens. And I just want to see how nasty the water is going to be. So I'm going to go get it, empty out the dirty water reservoir so it's like fresh, and then see how dirty this kitchen floor is. <laughs> okay, so I emptied it out. I'm going to put this back on there. 
And then let's see how dirty these kitchen floors are. Inside all that greatness and all of your adventures, you're all alone. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. moment of truth <laughs> so this is all from the kitchen floor Ugh, so nasty but I'm glad it's done now Ugh. that's from one and our kitchen is so small too ew I am the queen of leaving tags on everything. I have Christmas decor out right now that still has tags on it and I bought it like two or three years ago. So I noticed the tags were still on these so I decided to just take a moment and get them off. But it was actually so difficult. They were like weaved all in between the branches. So this sped up clip was actually like five minutes of me trying to get these tags off. Maybe you're just not that nice and And you can kind of see in the background, I need to figure out how I'm going to decorate that little hutch area. I originally had my hot cocoa bar there, but then in my last decorating for Christmas video, I moved it to a different spot because I didn't love it. So I need to figure out what I'm doing over there. And one more side note, if you noticed in the background that my tree has no decor on it, it's because I felt like the tree wasn't bright enough. So I took off all the decor and added another string of lights and I just haven't put the decor back on because it just feels so tedious to me so it's just been sitting there for like a week now. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you those green eyes caught me yeah it was crazy it was a friday night when i first kissed you so i thought that i deserved <laughs> some peanut butter blossom cookies after doing all of this cleaning and i will say when it comes to cookies i am definitely a homemade cookie fan when it comes to chocolate chip cookies I don't really like any of the pre-packaged chocolate chip cookies. I always just follow different recipes on Pinterest and I love making chocolate chip cookies homemade. But when it comes to peanut butter cookies, I never like any of the homemade peanut butter cookies. So my tried and true is just this like powdered pre-mix where you just add eggs and oil and water. And then I just roll the balls in sugar and then I put a Hershey Kiss on top and it is my favorite cookie. I swear I ate like 11 cookies yesterday. I could not stop eating them. And that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and that you're feeling motivated. If you need any more cleaning motivation, I have so many cleaning videos on my channel. I have about four years worth of cleaning videos, so I will have my cleaning playlist 
linked down below and you can see all the different houses or apartments we lived in and all the different hair colors I've had. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way till the end, leave me a comment and let me know that you did and give this video a big thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out the Hoover Power Dash Hard Floor Cleaner. Like I said, I will have it linked down below in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching.